Well, I'm here at my desk at work and I'm going to do a little test on one of my dehydrated meals. And this one is curry chicken with cabbage and broccoli. So we'll see how that works. I need to get the uh, vacuum bagging worked and this one hasn't worked very well. But what I'll also add to it is some MCT uh, powder, which is a uh, powdered oil and uh, you can't dehydrate meats very well if they've got any fat in it so that is to add the fat for later and the way i do it is i pour it into a flask something like this um, i will normally use a wider flask this is a little bit narrow but this is all i've got at work at the moment and pour boiling water fill it up to just just the same level as the dehydrated food and then I will seal it and leave it for about 20 minutes and what happens that with the temperature the boiling water creates a little bit of pressure in here and that is, seems to assist with the rehydration of the food so yep let me get going with this one and uh, see what we can do so a vacuum bag inside of a vacuum bag <laughs> And radio. Hmm, can I really smell that tastes quite good. It smells good. So it's a challenge to get it in the small one as you can see. Um but we'll get there with this experiment. And this is just uh chicken breasts which were par cooked and then I uh, shredded them and uh, cooked them in the curry sauce and then dehydrated them. The cabbage just plain cabbage chopped up into strips and then goodness gracious there we go what a mess I've made on my desk. Oh dear. Fun and games. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to pop in this uh, powdered oil. I actually have never done this before. So, powdered oil, in you go. Okay, now to add some hot water to the mix. Into the little kitchen where I will put the kettle on. Yep, there we go, kettle boiling. Okay, down the hatch she goes and then we just watch. I'll visually inspect and see oh i can smell the cabbage already that's it no more than that and quickly put the top on and there's my top and that's it all in shake it around and i'm just gonna leave it and we'll see what it looks like in a moment okay it's been about 20 minutes um since we put the hot water in, let's uh, see what happens when we open it. There you can hear the pressure that has built up. Um, I have been shaking it around so... Ooh. Oh, it smells delicious. I do have to say, even if I say so myself. Right, let's... Uh, okay, so it was cauliflower and a broccoli uh, mix in there. Well, this is the problem with the uh, narrow mouth uh, flask but wow it's actually quite a large portion goodness gracious shapers that's a lot of food i don't know if i'm gonna eat that all now okay so and again with a large mouth flask i will be able to clean it a little bit easier so yeah, that's um, 
That's what it looks like. It looks all pretty soft. Mm. That is really, really tasty. The um, cabbage has got a really nice crunchy texture to it. It's cooked right the way through. The broccoli and cauliflower mm. also really, really nicely done. And the uh, curry chicken is just out of this world. Sure. And check at the size of that portion. It's massive. Lovely. This is going to be great. Need to make some more of this.